Hello everyone, it's great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are going to make strawberry ice cream. It's going to be so easy, so simple. Three ingredients, that's all you're going to need. What you'll first want to do is wash a pound of strawberries. Cut off the little stem part. Wash them, set them aside here for a moment. Go ahead and get a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Do not confuse it with evaporated milk, else you will not have ice cream. So I use Eagle Brand Sweetened Condensed Milk. Then you're also going to need two cups of heavy whipping cream. Half and half will not work. It will have to be heavy whipping cream. So I have two eight ounce containers. I'll just pour it into a measuring cup. I can't get it open. Do you remember like in grade school when you had the carton of milk and you couldn't get it open and you kept on playing around with it? You ended up having to use a fork. <laughs> Just, I've never grown up. Never. I got it now. I got it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so there is two cups of heavy whipping cream. What you're going to want to do is also have a masher because we're going to mash up our strawberries and set them aside. So I'll put them in there. I think uh, maybe a three dollar masher. I can't remember what I paid for this. Oh, the lovely sound of squishing strawberries. You want to mash them up so you get little bite-sized chunks. You don't want to eat a whole strawberry in your ice cream. Now, I have it all mashed up and you want to keep the juices, so just let everything as it is. I'm going to use a hand mixer. You can also use a stand mixer. But in a large bowl, you're to add the heavy whipping cream and the condensed milk. And there again, you can tell the difference of condensed versus evaporated. Condensed is real thick. What we're going to want to do is whip this up. It might take a few minutes to get it until it has stiff peaks. Start out slow and then make it go higher so you don't splatter all over the place. Mine took about six minutes. It started to get thick. You'll notice a difference in the texture. No longer much of a liquid, it kind of hangs on to the beater. Next it says, pour the mashed strawberries into the mixture and gently fold until combined. It says for a brighter pink color, add a few drops of red food coloring. I'm going to add about four. That way people know they're eating strawberry ice cream. And then pour the whipped mixture into a freezer safe container. Anytime I've made ice cream like this, I pour it into a loaf pan. And then I cover it with aluminum foil. And it fits perfectly in a 9 by 5 loaf pan. Now it says here, you're to cover and freeze for about four to five hours, but in three to four hours, you'll have a soft serve type ice cream. If you prefer a more firm texture, freeze for at least five to six hours or overnight. Now, the longer this freezes, the more solid it'll get. So after a day or two, you may want to let it sit out on your counter before you try to serve it. I'm going to try this this afternoon. It's about 1030 in the morning, so I'll see you maybe about three o'clock and we'll see what we got. Been almost five hours. The center is still needs to freeze, but the outer edges they're getting nice and firm. It says this has eight servings, and each serving would have 383 calories. Well, I'll tell you what, this serving is probably about half a serving. I'm gonna put the rest back in the freezer because it's gonna take this probably overnight to freeze solid the whole way through. It's nice and creamy. Yes, that's very good. Very good. Now remember, the longer it freezes, the harder it will get. So after 24 hours, I'm just not sure how hard it's going to get. 
I'll let you know on the screen. Yeah, it's good. You may want to smush your strawberries a little thinner than what I had, but I think you'll like it. It's easy, it's quick. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights, and I hope you have a great week, everyone. See you soon.